We didn't get the lithograph though. What the hell? Are you guys in here? No? Where the hell are they? Push the switch. Duh! No good. The wall, check flowers, middle room, yes. I remember. But that is not what we wanted to do just yet. We want to head over here and down. And here they are! The hell are they still doing? It's Sid! Oh, everything's spinning. Yeah, you don't say. Where the hell do you come from, Mid? Grandpa, are you alright? Hold it. We don't have time to be sitting around. There's a book with some new technology in it. How can it be a book with new technology? With it, we can convert an airship into a submarine. That's great. You bet it is. Nothing is impossible for me. Let's go, Mid. Right. The hell is going on? <laughs> Why were you guys doing research after I teleported to a different planet? Doing research on my airship. What are you planning on doing with my airship? There are so many of them. Are you done? Uh, hey, Krill. D does does Sid remind you of your grandpa? No, I'm sorry about that, Krill. This is the first time meeting Sid, isn't it? Won't be long now. Wow, you two really work hard. Poor Grandpa thinks it's his fault the world is the way it is. But, but it's not. I know. And deep down I think he knows. Maybe that's why he tries so hard to use his machines for peace. Dawn! It's about damn time. Once you get in the water, Push the X button and the down arrow, and you're submerged. Thanks, Sid and Mid. Mostly Sid. I'm sure he did most of the work. Bart, I'm no warrior. In fact, about all I'm good at is modifying machinery. I've done all I know how to do here. The rest is up to you all. Let's move! We can move underwater now, right? Aye. To the last lithograph neath the waves. Wait, the last lithograph? We didn't get the third one yet. Take care of Grandpa. Oh, your Grandpa. Hurry back. How did you get up there? What are we waiting for? Let's go! And off we fly! But first I do need to uh, readjust my party a bit. Okay, the party's pretty much set up the way that I want. Bart's is still not on the Excalibur though. But Raina is back to using Earth Magic instead of summoning. What we are looking to do today is head into this waterfall here that might be a little bit out of order from what the game kind of intended us to do but well we're still getting the lithographs in order and that's what I think is important here well I should say the lithographs before uh, doing the other stuff there is definitely other stuff that we need to do after the lithographs and I'll take care of those when we get there we need to head into this little underwater cave we have been here before and we have fought all these enemies before so let's continue going through the cave and we can pop out pretty much next to the waterfall that we are looking to head into so let's just walk into it because that's how waterfalls work easterly falls we have made it and we have found the gargoyles which is why the Excalibur is not equipped right now so let's go ahead and try to make it past them and it's time for this fight again gargoyles out of the way let's head up and using our special book with the page that lights on fire. Behind the place where the water falls, protected by the water, lies the fourth lithograph. So like I said, we're gonna be doing this a little bit out of order. However, I do find this this lithograph a little bit easier to get actually than the third one, which is why I like doing it in this order. So what we wanna do is fall down this waterfall here. 
It's really the only way you can get through here is by falling through waterfalls. Hooray! And here we can get a turtle shell. And we can also get into a battle. As you might imagine, there are probably some new enemies here. We have Mercury Bats. Of course, we get into a cave and we gotta find freaking bats. Just swarmed by bats. Whirlpool, insta-death? Come on, insta-death. Did not work. Are you serious? Maybe these aren't new enemies. Maybe they're just so incredibly old that I don't remember fighting them. They died to like 200 damage. What the hell? 1,593 guilt, 765 experience, and 5 ability points. No, those are new enemies. They're just ridiculously easy. Holy crap. They are Zubats. And now everything's a slightly different color. Hooray. Alright, getting ether out of there. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the color scheme, so sorry about that. I don't think we're supposed to go that way. Do we have new enemies here, though? Nope, more of these guys. First strike, too. Well, the color scheme didn't change, but we need to head over to the right if I can stop falling down waterfalls. Do we have more new enemies? We should have more new enemies. No, these guys again. I'll take the free experience. Definitely looks like it needs to be physical damage, though, because I did more with the earth magic, and it did not kill them. So physical attacks looks like it's enough to kill them, which is fine for me. Just most of my guys are using physical attacks anyway. Do we have more new... No! Damn it, bats. For our trouble, though, I do get... Air Lancer out of that chest. Now I have switched Reina over to a thief, which is why Bart is running at an insane speed right now. Uh, let's head down here and I'll show you why Reina is a thief. Uh, you need a thief in order to get this done. What you want to do here is press the switch, run, get into a fight. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Is there anything other than bats? No. And the battle screwed me up. So, let's head back here, hit the switch, and dash over, and get myself the protectoring and out of the way. Let's go ahead and change Reina back now that I got everything that I needed from her being a thief. Alright, let's head out and around. Now, it doesn't necessarily... You don't necessarily need to take the left fork out of the last room, but I think it helps. So let's head over to the right side, which is pretty much where we would have ended up should we have taken the right fort instead. Are we going to show off new enemies? Oh. Oh. We got the Dingleberry. <gasps> no, the Dingleberry. No, that didn't kill him. No. He's just moving forward. However, technically he does die. Um, so you can constantly steal from him every time he respawns. You get a fresh steal from him. We need to try here. And I mean seriously try. I did re-equip uh, the, the Excalibur under Bart, even though I, I didn't show that before, because I forgot we need to go for Flare, though. We need to do 3,000 damage. You'll notice that he's not dead yet. In fact, he's not even close. This is by far the toughest enemy that we have faced to this point. That's not a boss, I should say. That is not a boss. <laughs> Can I slow him? Would that work on him? I assume any st Yeah, it didn't work. I didn't think so. It was worth a shot, though. You know, just one shot. This guy has a ton of HP. I believe he actually has more than the Gil Turtle, than Gilgamesh. I could be wrong about that, though, but it's damn close. So we need to do everything we can to try to finish this guy off. Did not expect to fight the fucking Dingleberry here. <sighs> but like I said, you can steal from him every time uh, he respawns like that. Let's go for Earth. What else are we going to do? Will-O-Wisp confuses him. Very nice. Uh, so let's, let's, let's do a round of defend and see what he does to himself. Yeah, damn right he does. Right, let's mug him again. Oh, critical. Couldn't come at a better time. Thank you. Uh, one more Earth hat. Yeah, Will-O-Wisp. Confuse him. Ah, I didn't confuse him. What are you going to do? Can't work every time. Um, why this guy is so difficult, you might be wondering that right now. For those of you that are unfamiliar with uh, Final Fantasies, uh, basically this guy, he's a Tonberry. Why he's called a Dingleberry here, I don't 
don't know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, um, he'll sneak up on you, and then he'll pretty much wreck your day. It will probably one shot two or three of, uh, of my party members should he get up close so my strategy here is to not let him get up close so I need to do as much damage to him pretty much as quickly as I can to him that's not him dying that's him coming closer but I can steal from him again so I will try to take advantage of that and Bart is just gonna keep on doing as much damage as he can <laughs> earth magic go <gasps> mug I was not prepared to fight the Dingleberry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Flair, save me, Flair. And as you saw, slow either didn't hit him or doesn't affect him. I assume, it, like every time he moves, it won't affect him anymore. Did we did it? Yes. You get 537 gil, 317 experience, and 15 ability points for that. Krill does gain a job level. Receives times six. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Sh um, when he gets up close, he pretty much boinks you, as it's termed in later games. But in this game, it's just referred to as Cleaver. Uh, and he gets to use that three times. Very, very nice that we killed him before he got to do that. Hold on, though. Okay, I've rearranged my party a bit because Ferris is low on MP and Krill did reach the next level of Time Mage. Krill is now a summoner since that does not uh, allow staffs. Krill is now on the Thief Knife. Actually, that, c that should be changed to the Assassin Dragger now. And Ferris is back on Chemist with the Healing Staff. Hooray! We killed a Dingleberry! It stank. Uh, let's head over here and grab ourselves a giant drink. And then we can head back around and pretty much to the exit that we saw before over here. Are there even more enemies for me to fight here? Hopefully it's not another dingleberry. It isn't! And we do have Alcumia. Couldn't steal. That's alright though. Didn't work. What didn't work? Nurter? Was he trying to neuter me? No, that's not allowed. Girl need to be healed? No. Okay, go Earth! Whirlpool! That never works. How dare you waste my turn like that. A shot for the victory, please. For the victory. Ah, uh, Alcumia still lives. The frog went away, though. Can I steal from you? Doom! What kind of dick move is that? can't just say, ha, you die now. That's not allowed. You're not even a boss, Alcumia. What the hell are you doing? Give me something. Maiden's Kiss. Oh, thank you. So now I can cure Toad that you never got to cast on me. Thank you so much, Alcumia. Are you dead yet? Down you go. I need to heal Krill next battle. Next time I get a chance. Six ability points, though. That's not bad for two enemies. I will take that. I'll take that all day. One more battle, and Bart should be the next job level, and then we can move him over to something It's even better. <laughs> oh, I got I got some good plans for Bart now that he has that shot. Oh, so many plans. Uh, what we need to do here is head up and to the right. You saw the treasure chest over there. We need to grab it. Do we have any more new enemies around here? Probably not. We do! Wow. Fall Guard. We might have seen this one before, but he is uh, definitely the first... This is the, definitely the first time that we saw him here, so I will show him off. We might have saw him in a couple groups in a treasure chest before, but that could have been something else. Stalactite! There we go. Everything was worthwhile now since you got to see Stalactite. But Bart still does double the damage of that. And down he goes. <laughs> you get 543 gil, 333 experience, and 5 ability points. Bart does gain that job level. Uh, r received equip armor. Kind of weird. But I do need to change him around just a little bit here. All right, Bart's is actually back on Ninja uh, with the Sasuke and the Razor Ring attached. Uh, so that's why, well, equipped. So that's why he's in the back row. Uh, I did actually misread uh, Reina's Lance ability. It's not actually equip Lance. It's uh, 
well, it's Lancet from Final Fantasy X. Uh, you suck HP and MP. It's, it's kind of a good ability, but it's such a small number that yeah, I'm not typically a fan of it. So, let's head over here, and we can get a Phoenix down that I used, thanks to your freaking Doom spell. So let's head over here, and hopefully I will eventually get a chance to show off Bart in a battle now. Will there be a new enemy for me to show off, though? Yes, there is! We have Coral! Even though it says, like, Coral. S-Shot. Wait until you see this. One. Two. Three. Four. How ridiculous is that? How awesome is that? Eight attacks because he has two items equipped. Two things equipped. Stalactite kills the last Mercury bat. How awesome is that? 1596 skill, 827 experience, five ability points for that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Actually, I think I want to change things around with his equipment a little bit. I'm not that happy with that, to be honest with you. Wall ring out of there. Hold on. There we go. Assassin Dagger and Sasuke up front now. That is much, much better. Do I get a chance to show that off? Does it have the razor ring? Not today. So let's just head back around and down here. And here we do have a save point, which I definitely will use. And actually, that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by my lithograph hunting squad of Bars, Reyna, Krill, and Ferris. When we come back, we will get to the bottom of this cave and get our lithograph, hopefully. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.